Hey guys! So today I want to bring you a video on fashion trends for spring and a little bit of summer for 2013. And these are just trends that are in right now. Now this does not mean that you have to go buy these. This does not mean that you have to wear these things. Um, this is just if you have something in the back of your closet that you haven't pulled out in a while, if it's on trend, this is a reason to do so. Um, if you're looking to update your wardrobe but don't know where to start, here's how. If you want to break out of your box or out of your shell a little bit um, but need some inspiration, these are a couple things that I would recommend. Um, but these are just kind of the things that I personally have been seeing. Um, but if you see other trends that you like, be sure to tell me what your favorite ones are. So first, to start off, one of the biggest trends is florals. This is a gorgeous dress from Forever 21, and I absolutely love the way this fits. I'll actually link you to a video that I did. It was a haul video, um, and I wore this dress in that video. It looks amazing. So if you click on that, it'll pause this video so you can go watch that one. But if you want to see like what this looks like on, you can see it in that video. It has a little peekaboo in it. Um, but it is absolutely gorgeous, and florals are everywhere, whether it's dresses or shirts, they're super in. Also, the peekaboo is another trend that's in. This dress happens to have both. Um, but showing peekaboos of skin, whether it's like a strappy back, like an open back dress, or whether it's even a peekaboo in the front here, or peekaboos on the sides, um, it's really, really in to kind of have those little pieces of skin showing, which will also keep you cooler for the summer. Next trend are these bomber or moto jackets. Um, these are huge. You can get them with studs, you can get them just just plain like this. So this is one from Kenna T. I got this at Nordstrom. It is absolutely trendy and super, super cute. Um, and as far as a more bomber style jacket, this is again one of my absolute favorites. As you can see, it kind of has the, the tightness here at the arms and a little bit down here. It's got all of these great pockets that are functional and fashionable. Um, this one is a lot less expensive. This one is from Nordstrom, and this one was from online at Boy Meets Girl. Um, I think it's so cute. It doesn't have a logo on it or anything, but I've even seen people DIY this and put like studs and jewels and stuff like that. I think it's super, super cute. The next trend is to have these kind of cut-legged skirts. This one happens to be very bright, um, but regardless Regardless of the color, it's really in to show a little bit of leg. So you obviously don't want to go overboard, but having something like this that has, you know, a short skirt but also kind of opens is a way to kind of rock that trend without showing your entire leg. Um, so this is one from Helmet Lang. I personally love this skirt. It's got like a little wrap. These are absolutely everywhere and you can find asymmetrical cuts like this one. You can find ones that are more even that just cut up the side. Um, but either way, it's a nice up. Next, a huge trend is lace. And I'm keeping this one and it's like little plastic, so excuse that. This is a dress from Calvin Klein and obviously you would wear something underneath this. But lace is a huge trend, whether it's dresses or anything else. Um, the way I would personally do this is put like a black slip underneath. You could do like black shorts and even a black tube top if you wanted to, like a bandeau. Um, or if you want to look like you're wearing nothing, like an illusion dress, you could even wear something like this with a nude slip so you're covered, but people have to be like, what? You know what I mean? Um, but lace is absolutely gorgeous. It's formal, but you can wear it for every day as well. Another huge trend is stripes, whether it's striped shirts, striped pants, striped blazers, striped suits. Um, it's a great way to update your wardrobe. You can make it nautical and get something blue and black and kind of put some gold on there to look like a sailor girl or a sailor guy. You could also make it look very, very mod depending on the colors. Um, or you can even make it look hipster if you wanted to incorporate multiple textures like stripes and polka dots and you know, uh, a shirt with bicycles on it, I don't know, or mustaches. Um, but this is a really big trend. It's cute. And something like this is nice because it's such a classic print that something like this or polka dots will be in for a long time. Next big trend is leather. And this is a gorgeous dress from Vince. I actually have a story behind this. Um, as a model, I have a larger rear, but a very, very small torso, a very small bust, and very small waist. And, you know, as much as I appreciate that, I guess, it's a problem sometimes because not everything fits me. Um, so I showed up to a photo shoot and I was just wearing this dress with my boots and my regular outfit. Um, and we were going through the wardrobe options and the wardrobe stylist found a couple things she liked. She wanted to shoot in for the editorial, but it either didn't fit right or what did fit right didn't go with the accessories or didn't go with, you know, the other pieces. And so then she pulled out my dress and she's like, wait, do this! And she just put this with a pair of shoes and it looked gorgeous.
But we actually did a photo shoot in this, which I feel, I don't know, I feel so proud about because it means like I picked something out like that actually looks good that people would want to use. So that was really a moment for me. Um, but leather is really, really big for the season. Whether it's a dress, whether it's anything, um, it's gorgeous. And you don't have to wear like a tight black leather dress. You know, you can definitely make leather wearable for every day. This is an example that's a little bit more boxy and it kind of has pockets. But leather is kind of like a new staple piece. Um, and you can get it in other colors too. So it doesn't have to make you look like you just jumped out of like a latex and leather party. Um, so it's definitely easy to make it look chic and this is just a great example of that. Next another huge trend is prints. This is a dress from Banana Republic and whether it's this print, whether it's techno prints, crazy prints, doesn't matter what color, whether again they're floral or super super vibed out, these prints are all the rage. And it's great because you can find some, um, I've seen some at Nordstrom from, from Mink Pink, from Jean Paul, from a whole bunch of high foam different places um, that just look amazing. So just shop around and what's great is that you can find prints that accentuate your favorite body parts and hide other body parts that you're not so happy about, um, or vice versa. Another great example of that would be this dress. I love this dress. This is my Star Trek dress. I wore this at my interview with Inside Edition. This is an amazing dress. And again, it has these patterns that really can kind of change the way your body is shaped. So I absolutely love this um, and I'm so happy that it's like a really in trend. Next one of the huge trends are high-waisted shorts. This is a pair from ASOS. Um, this is actually my only pair of high-waisted shorts, but I'm looking to invest in more. But I've seen them light wash, dark wash, cut off shorts are a big thing. Um, I've seen them polka dotted and printed and like Hawaii floral print and even studded and do it yourself. Let me know if you guys want DIY short ideas because I was thinking of cutting up some of my old jeans and kind of adding studs and glitter and paint and making them DIY but I haven't chosen like a pair of jeans to rip up yet so if you want to see that let me know. High waisted shorts are definitely chic. You can tuck your shirts into them and add a belt. One of my favorite things to do is tuck a really nice blouse into your shorts, wear a pair of high heels, maybe like gladiator sandals or booties, and then actually have a blazer just like this over the top. And it's like, it looks business, but it looks chic as well. My phone. Next, another huge trend are structured handbags and bright pops of color handbags. Um, this kind of represents both because this is a gorgeous violet purple, um, but any bright handbag, orange, yellow, blue, you name it, as long as it's bright, vibrant, vibrant, um, it's perfect, and then also this structured look, like a crossbody bag or a business bag. Um, some of the Celine bags are very structured like this, but just having a bag that is just, you know, has a definite shape, it isn't loose like a hobo or anything like that, is super, super on trend. Another huge trend are kitten heels or low heeled shoes. Shoes, these are some of my favorites because they have these little bows on them which I just think are adorable. These are kind of more of a patent leather. Um, if you're looking to go a little bit less patent and a little bit less loud, this is a great option as well. They have these little cut out toes and they're very, very classy. Um, but what's great about these kitten heels is not only are they in, but they're super easy to walk in. Um, so when you're walking in something like this, it's not as hard as stumbling around in a pair of six inch heels. Um, so these are great for every day. They still add a little bit of length to your legs and they're on trend. These next three pieces represent colors. So regardless of what kind of clothing it is, these are some of the biggest colors. First and foremost, the color of the year is emerald green. And I've been seeing a lot of mint for spring but emerald green is the color of the year. So this is a sheer shirt from BCBG Max Azria that I got at TJ Maxx. It was originally 68. I got it for 20 on clearance, um, probably because it's kind of sheer. But I was hoping to wear something underneath it. But this is just the color of the year. Um, orange was the color of the year last year, and it is still bright, bold, and beautiful this year. This is a piece from Style Mint that's kind of open at the sides, has a little bit of sheerness to it. Um, and orange in any accessories, anything is just super, super big. 
Same with jewel tone blues, which is actually um, the dress that I'm wearing today. Any of these jewel tone blues are gorgeous. They are perfect for spring and summer and super in. Something else that these three shirts also represent is sheerness. Um, it's a huge trend to wear a sheer shirt with a little bandeau top underneath. So whether it's something like this that's sleeveless, whether it's something like this that has sleeves and it's just kind of opened at the side, or whether it's something that's long sleeve and completely sheer, having sheer shirts with just a bandeau top underneath, whether it's black or whether it's a pop of color, is a really huge trend. Next, the dress that I'm wearing actually represents a trend. One of the biggest trends is black and white. Regardless of what it is, whether it's in the same piece or it's a black shirt and white pants, anything. Or if it's stripped, or if it's polka dotted, or if it's mixed, doesn't matter. Black and white is one of the biggest trends, the tuxedo kind of look. Fit and flare dresses are also in. Fit and flare dresses. Fit and flare dresses are ones like this, where it's very fitted at the top, and then it flares out at the waist and gives you this gorgeous kind of hip line. Um, it's super, super stunning. It looks great on absolutely every body type, um, and it's super easy to pull off. They are everywhere for spring. As far as jewelry goes, some of these big statement pieces are huge, whether it's face framing earrings, whether it's a big bib necklace or gaudy bangles. Having really bold statement pieces as jewelry, whether it's neutral, black and gold, or whether it's a bright color, is a huge trend. And very last, a makeup trend that's super in is the one I'm wearing right now, and it's having these really nice summer smoky eyes. Brighten them up so it's a smoky eye, but maybe use a little bit of pink or a little bit of orange to give it kind of that summery flare. Um, but having these dramatic smoky eyes and these nude lips. Um, so smoky eyes you can do with whatever you want. Nude lips, this is a MAC lipstick. This is called Creme de Nude, Cream de Nude. It's a cream sheen. Um, it's personally one that I love and that I'd recommend, but that's a huge makeup trend. And so those are the trends that I like, that I think are in, that I've been seeing. If you have other trends that you love, be sure to tell me what they are. Also, I did want to tell you if you would like to win designer clothing. Um, Boy Meets Girl is actually giving away designer clothing to people who've stood up for bullying. So if you've stood up to bullying or if you've conquered a moment that you never thought you could, tweet your name, the country, or state that you live in along with the hashtag live out loud um, and just put a little blurb in. If you stood up to a bully when they were bullying someone else at school. For instance, if you overcame a moment of fear about going outside without makeup, um, whatever it is, share that moment. Um, if you overcame suicide, or if you helped someone else do that. Share that live out loud moment that you were proud to stand up and be an upstander. Um, and you can win free designer clothing that is totally on trend. So I just wanted to share that with you. I will link all of the details of the contest in a couple videos here and maybe even a couple bullying videos here. This is just what's in, what I think is in, what I have been seeing, some of my favorite trends. Um, and that's also how you can share your live out loud moments as well as winning designer clothing that's totally on trend. So if you know of other your trends that are super in that you're loving be sure to tell me what they are of course if you want um, do-it-yourself short videos if you want outfit videos if you want um, a summer smoky eye look tell me exactly what you want and I'd be happy to bring it to you um, but be sure to check the bottom tab for all the links that I've mentioned in this video along with the videos that I've mentioned on fashion on makeup on style on bullying on the contest and everything else so I love you I hope that you enjoyed this and I cannot wait to talk to y'all soon Love you guys. Bye.